Hey all, um, so today I want to teach you on how to put a time lapse app on the Sony a6500. Um, I just bought this little camera and so far I think it's a great camera, except Sony doesn't include the apps on them, which is genius and marketing reason. But um, yeah, so instead of just having a remote like the Canon Mark IV would have, Sony makes you put an app on it to which case it's been a lot of hassle for me to figure out how to do so. So instead of having you spend hours upon hours trying to figure it out like I did, well, like 20 minutes, I thought I'd just save you the hassle and give you a better explanation of video for those who have already come before me and tried to make a better video. Not a better video, just a more informative video. So anyway, like, most of you I use Chrome and which is cool and great but when I go to the Play Memories app portal which is how you get to the Sony um, time-lapse app and so I go to install it and oh first you have to create an account blah 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 sign in I'm not a robot um, and once you sign in, it brings you to the main page, which you can download the and install. But if you're on Chrome, it brings up this and it makes it so you install a Windows app. To which case, if you click yes, it tries to do this, and this is it's going to ask you to search for your app to install, and you'll have a lot of issues. So you go there and then download app for Mac. Just great, you download it and it makes you restart your computer and so on and so forth. But it never launches an app to hook to your camera to get the app for said camera. Which is really annoying. So instead, after trying this like three times and restarting my computer, I finally thought, try Safari. So after doing that, and Safari, Let's you do it a lot quicker, and then the rest of the tutorial is the same as most others. You download the app, you pay them your 10 bucks, and a lot of people say it's stupid that Sony makes you um, pay through a gift card that you have to buy on Amazon, and I don't know if that's true, because it had a PayPal feature, to which case, I just use PayPal. And it said that you could use a credit card too, but everyone's like, it doesn't work, so. I don't know if it works or not, I just use PayPal and that seemed to work great. So you go up here, you go to, um, you get the time lapse app and click on it. And mine already says installed, but um, now it won't even load. Um, yeah, installed and clicks through. Oh, you have to connect to your camera. Turn your camera on. Then right here. You plug this in, and it says connecting to mass storage, and you go, let's see if we can get that to, so you go, go to sony.net.pmx, and you hit OK. And I've seen some people say that um, you want to Um, you want to go to menu and go through a different storage device, but I just hit auto. Um, apparently on PCs there's an issue to where you go to a different setting within the USB option. Um, and so yeah, go there and then it downloads the app. And then you go to your back to your camera and go menu. Then it says application list. All right, sorry. So it says application list. You click on that. And it says time lapse app. And then it boots up the time lapse app. And this is how you get into the time lapse. And then there's plenty of YouTube tutorials that give you an explanation of how to use the time lapse app. Um, maybe sooner or later I'll make one that explains it a little bit different because I've learned that people learn in all different ways so 
Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.